this is my pig pattern it's going to come in three um, varieties here the standard here and here this one has a high middle this one has a high back rump side and uh, they all take the same top pattern so nothing like that changes and in order to get the legs cleared out I have part of the pattern wrap around here so you can line it up and drill a 3 8 hole down and then cut and then you can just finish cutting it out on the bandsaw and um, instead of using a spray to put my pattern on I use uh, Elmer's Extreme glue stick it does a better job you don't get over spray you're not um, um, getting the nozzle clogged up on the, the, the spray glue and um, I can sit there and hold it down here, lift this up, put some glue stick down, line it up here, then reverse it, and uh, do the same. I have center lines on this, so you can mark your 2 by the center of your 2 by so you can line them up to get things as centered as possible. And then this wraps around here. So you can drill a 3 8 hole down through the center and then you can finish, mark, follow these lines and cut out the rest on a bandsaw. Okay, this is my um, shop made adjustable um, um, fence on my drill press. It uh, slides back and forth in these slots in these slots and then uh, this slides back and forth in the slot I made here and I can tighten it up for anything most as long as they're square shapes anyway so I've set this up for my uh, drill target hole here and then in order to keep it from moving around this way and that way I use a clamp to clamp it in place Then I'll just turn it over, finish the hole. Now I'll admit these are handy. Um, you should make one if you don't have one. They really save you a lot of grief. Okay, I'm going to be using a Timberwolf 3 sixteenths, 10 TPI, 0 0.025 thickness, RK series. Everybody asks all the time, so I thought I'd show them. And I'll get started. I'm first going to clear out this hole that I drilled and then I'm going to run from the bottom. Now, one of the things I do is, since this is only two and a half inches wide or thereabouts, I go ahead and I trim the two by four down so I'm cutting through less thickness of wood. Plus it also gives me a flatter surface because the two by fours like to be a little rounded. So this gives me a flatter surface here and a flatter surface there. Okay, I'm going to start with the uh, Clearing out the bottom for the feet first, and then I'll do this side, and then I'll do this side. Okay, that's what that looks like trimmed out. And that'll be fine on here because the 2x4 I made sure was flat on both sides so it doesn't rock or anything like not much anyway. Um, I have to leave, I'm using the Carter stabilizer and I have to leave it up higher in order for the camera to see that but you really you only want it as close as possible 
to the top of your workpiece so that there's less play. Now in order to do this side, <clears throat> I put this back together using packing tape and um, I wrap it on this side and this side and then I cut the back last, that way the tape stays attached until almost the very end. Try to keep the bubbles out as much as possible so I can see the pattern better.
and there's your pig. Now I'll use these as I've said this before in my other videos on other animals, few as, the, few as they are. I'll use these. I have another band saw set up as a sanding deal, and I use these as little sleds to keep the pig um, 90 degrees to the sanding belt so it doesn't want to tip and tilt and move and bang around. 